Hi Aries, so it's L here to do something different, a different reading. So I've got 12 cards full for all 12 zodiac signs in regards to um, you in the love messages and in regards to you dealing with all 12 zodiac signs. Um, so I, I did the Aquarius one. It was funny. Um, here we go for the Aries. Uh, it's new, so bear with me, okay? Okay, so Aries, dealing with Aries, the chariot. Okay, nice, upright. So you guys may be trying to move something forward if you're dealing with another Aries. Um, you guys may be trying to move the relationship forward, have a bit more commitment or relationship, a uh, bit more commitment. Or um, there may be even a marriage here. You know, you may be married to another Aries. Um, I think someone has gotten to a place of understanding the, the good and the bad of the relationship. And now it's just about knowing that, yes, we've had good times, we've had bad times. But we're going to move this ship forward. We're going to move it together, hopefully, with the chariot here, okay? Um it's been a long journey, um, but it says beneficial change and good news is coming to you in regards to your relationship or marriage or some contractual agreement in regards to dealing with another Aries. Okay, so Taurus, Aries dealing with the Taurus, Ten of Pentacles in, in the reverse. So this could be masculine energy. Um, someone is um, not feeling like long-term goals can be achieved here someone is feeling like maybe their reputation is on the line or it's been bruised someone is feeling like um, a lot of masculine energy here in regards to uh, someone feels like things are upset maybe even financially Someone is not thinking about the long term here in regards to Aries and the Taurus. Someone is is uh, is feeling like it, this is not a grounded and stable environment or relationship, um, and it, it it might this is like a pressing of the brakes. It's not over, but someone is definitely trying to evaluate where they are or reevaluate. Because, and this could be the masculine energy doing this, saying that, you know, um, this is, this is, uh, upside down in regards to dealing with the Taurus. Someone may, may feel like they're spending a lot of money. There, there is no or little savings, little to no savings. Okay. All right, so Aries dealing with uh, Gemini, Four of Swords. Okay, so you guys may be at a place of just rest and peace and um, just calmness and still. This is what you guys have uh, created for yourselves between the two of you. Uh, the foundation is here, and it's just about um, taking a step back and... Um, Re recuperating, resting, relaxing, meditating, and praying about what is to come and hoping that there is nothing but uh, joyous times here. Uh, you could be separated also from a uh, Gemini if, if that's the case. Um, you, you, may be want, you may be just wishing and hoping and, and praying for peace within your mind in regards to this, this Gemini person. Um, someone, I'm hearing somebody could have passed, something could have gone on, yeah, so that could be very much a situation there. You're thinking about the roots that you, and the foundation you guys have laid together. All right, so, um, Aries dealing with cancer. The Six of Cups, some of you feel like there's some Cancerian person who is your soulmate or vice versa. You both feel that same way. 
um, there might be a, a resurgence of this energy you guys are separated right now uh, but you both are experiencing the void that is um, the sep that is you know you guys not being in each other's lives some of you are just really analyzing the situation analyzing maybe how healthy it was or lack thereof or um, wanting to work on the fitness and the health of the relationship because you found a sense of usefulness with this person or this situation and so it's like um, it's almost as if you feel like you're not you, you haven't or you won't find anyone like this person lots of going over the past in your mind okay so Aries dealing with Leo the ace of pentacles okay so you guys may be establishing something a new beginning that could be very foundational like you guys could say okay we're boyfriend and girlfriend we're uh, uh, we're getting engaged we're moving in together um, making a large purchase but you, you're trying to press forward and move something along here with the ace of pentacles you and Leo you've, you've found some type of uh, solidarity some some foundation here um, maybe it, it was never where it had title and foundation and now you guys are going to establish that now this is just the beginning and it's for the taking you could take it or you could leave it so this is good though all right so Aries dealing with who's after Leo oh gosh I can't think um Virgo I knew it was gonna come to me the six of wands in reverse okay Aries and Virgo six of wands in reverse someone has decided to to not give this relationship any more energy it it's not growing it can't grow it's not going anywhere um there is no recognition there is no public display of there is no no um analyzing the situation and, and thinking about where it fits in your life someone is completely dropping the ball here they're not making a choice to give attention recognition to so that's what's going on between you and Ed Virgo okay and you and Libra Aries and Libra ace of cups in the reverse Someone feel, is feeling like the love is lost. The, the, the beginning or the resurgence of love can't happen because I guess we'll, we'll figure that out once we do the um, clarifiers. But someone is feeling just like there is no love. Uh, the cup has run it over it has run out Aries and Libra I'm hearing somebody's tired of giving I'm tired of compromising and sacrificing hmm Aries and Scorpio eight of cups in reverse okay so eight of cups in reverse um, talks about strength talks about maybe not having the strength to walk away from a situation that is unfulfilling that will never yield you maybe the ten of cups but someone is unable to walk away from a Scorpio person why, why did I just hear cancer Pisces Scorpio but Scorpio person um you know that it's not going to get you what you want but you, you I think sex 
and the merging of, of, of you two has got you hung up. It's got you stuck. Aries. Um, yeah. Okay, Aries and Sagittarius. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay. So someone may be here to stay. Someone doesn't want to to run away anymore. Someone wants to see what it feels like to baby grow roots, grow some grass under their feet, at least in regards to Yeah, this is the night. I thought it was a king. Yeah, it's the night. Um, yeah, someone wants to So this is like the offer, the passionate offer, where it's like, okay, yeah, I get it. I may have been in and out in the past, but I don't know what this looks like or how I feel exactly about this, but I, I kind of want this to work. If you give me the chance to show you, you know, better than I can tell you, then we'll see what happens here. It's almost like that's what someone is saying to you, either you Aries to Sagittarius or vice versa or maybe the both of you are saying this okay so Aries and Capricorn three of Pentacles in the reverse so someone is someone not wanting to put the work in anymore in, in regards to this whatever you guys were creating Someone is thinking differently or is not thinking differently about uh, the, the creation process that was between Capricorn and Aries. Someone feels like they were putting in work for it for nothing or um, there might be some legal some legal issues that may get resolved here between you and Capricorn some of you may feel like this Capricorn is fundamentally screwed up about how they think about things and you may be just wanting to bow out and, and just say okay I'm done some of you were in it for other reason looks like the money but it's not at this point it's not even worth it because it's too much of a headache for some of you too much um, hmm it's like other people here there's friends their family their siblings somebody else has a say in this okay um aries and aquarius four of cups okay. someone isn't sure should they take two a cup because in the past it was the three of cups it was just a situation of dating they may have not been the only person it might have been a three-way situation it just was too much and a lot going on. Um, it was fun times. Maybe for for the both of you or for just one person. But this person isn't sure about this cup that's being offered. Uh, there could be Aries and, and Aquarius. There could be a level of discontentment or boredom here. There could be a change of home or journey. If you accept the cup. Hmm. You guys have some. Have established some roots here. With each other. But some of you are. Are bored out of your mind. Or just a level of discontentment. Dissatisfaction. Okay Aries and Pisces start in reverse okay so this is a situation where the Aries start in reverse is you're not on the right path you're not on the right track um, in regards to dealing with maybe a Piscean person uh, this person doesn't bring you to a place of enlightenment 
and spiritual awareness and feeling like you're on the right path there's a lot of confusion that this person brings um there then yeah there's a level of confusion and uh yeah you gotta have to deal with that this person doesn't allow you to live out your spiritual journey and get the lesson like this is this is a roundabout this may even be a karmic situation here something of that nature or, or a lesson learned you need to learn a lesson here maybe with a piscean person let's see what the angel answers cards have for us What can you tell Aries? What is the advice for Aries as a collective? Dealing with any sign, Aries, what is the advice for Aries? The situation will improve. Okay. Big happy changes for some of you. I do see that here. Unlikely. Okay, we've got something that is unlikely. One more for the Aries. Okay. Remain positive. That's beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> what we're going to do is pull our clarifying cards and go over to the website and kind of drill down on each um, situation. Aries, it looks pretty good for you. Some of you know that you shouldn't be dealing with someone you shouldn't be dealing with. Okay, cards fell all over the floor. Mm. It's just a mixed bag for each Aries. Aries, if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you, you can go over to the website and book your own reading there. You can also take advantage of the $20 one to two question reading. Um, it's a video recorded reading, so it will come to you via email uh, in video form, just like this video. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and do that. Take advantage of that. That is one of the more economically, economical, f yeah, economically feasible readings. Um, you know, some of the other ones, the more in-depth ones, are more pricey. But if you just need one to two questions answered, I would take advantage of that $20 reading. Okay, so Aries, I want to thank you for tuning in. We're going to drill down at the website in regards to all 12 zodiac signs. Yeah, it looks good for most of you. It looks really, really good. I'm going to talk about this. Okay. All right, Aries. So I'll see you on the other side where we're going to talk about this. We're going to go over some things. We're going to try to gain some clarity and get some advice. Do know that the extended read is always $2.25 to gain a bit more clarity. Alright, thank you Aries. Take care.